welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, before I'm going to do another reaction video to my YouTube channel, so please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you'll be officially part of the billionaires family. So yes, today this is a new video that I'm going to react because I'm going to react the top 10 um, tourist destination of uh, 10 best places to visit in India. Like. If I have a chance after the pandemic, I guess I'm going to visit or I'm going to spend some vacation in India. Oh, that is so good. So yes, I need to see the best places to visit in your country, which is in India. Yes, Samalaikum. Is that right? Yes. So yes, without further ado, we're going to start to make a reaction right away because I'm so excited. Come on, let's do this. Give it to me. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, is that castle? The ten places to visit. Is that castle? The golden castle? Do you? India is an enormous and diverse destination, bordered by seven different countries, not to mention the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal means that there are many different sides to the country. Okay. More than 20 official languages, multiple religions, and a variety of cuisines exist within India's borders. To truly <gasps> experience the breadth of Indian culture and look history, travel is key. Here's a look at the best places to visit in India. Come on. Give it to me. <gasps> oh, look at that. Is that a temple? Like it looks like a Thailand, something like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you see? Ten, Udaipur. Udaipur. The city of lakes, Udaipur, glistens romantically on the edge of the desert in Rajasthan. Wait, wait. <gasps> Those are real. Like that is uh, that is um, what is that? A castle or a temple? Like they're in the lake, really? Lake Palace in the middle of a tranquil lake. A yeah. captivating site is the imposing but graceful city palace, <gasps> along with the monsoon palace, which mm -hmm. stands out with walls made of gleaming white marble. Mm -hmm. Explore old temples, walk the winding streets of this fanciful corner of India, and slip into times past inside its ancient bazaars. Wow. Those palace is beautiful. Look at that. Look at the, I mean, oh, look at the palace. Is that palace? Oh, yes. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, I guess this is, um, um, this is palace. Like, I already saw this. Oh, I, I saw this one, like, in, um, I forgot that. Like, a movie, a movie, a song movie, something like that. And I saw this. I thought that those scenes are like, you know, like in a stage or something like that. But oh my god, they are real. Look at that. Number nine, okay. Amritsar. The um, Punjabi city of Amritsar lies on the border with Pakistan and is home to the holiest of Sikh sites. The Golden Temple is in the heart of the Old Walled City. This serene Sikh shrine provides a place for reflection and inspiration. You can tour the Golden Temple regardless. Wait, is that real? Oh my god, to all my subscriber Indian people, can you tell me, is that real gold? Is that really gold? Temple? If that is real gold, like, <gasps> wow, like, wow, like, wow, like, I don't have any words to say, but you has the beautiful, like, visit places, like, a tourist destination, like, 
there are I mean your country is really rich and beautiful majestic country I mean that I ever seen in my entire life there are a lot of palaces and this one and the other one is oh my god this one is beyond of my expectation if that's a real gold oh my god oh lord it's a religion but you will need to show respect by covering your head and removing your shoes oh, the see? streets surrounding the temple are a frenetic fusion of people markets and activity okay. be sure to pick up some traditional goods such as hand embroidered fabrics and delicately ornate shoes Ooh. Oh, what is that? A pancake? I guess those are breads. Number eight, Ladakh. Ladakh. In northernmost India, in the heavily disputed Kashmir region, is the this place of Ladakh. Is this region is large, but it has a low population density and a number of nomadic residents. Breathtaking, pristine scenery is a major draw to the area. Yes! Virtually all travelers will also spend time in the town of Leh. The town is located at a very high wow. elevation, and it is home to the 17th century palace of the king of Ladakh. Oh, it really? That's real? Prominent in Leh, and you may wish to explore some of the many Buddhist monasteries and temples. Wow, that is number seven. Oh my god, Goa beaches on the western coast of India is Goa, mm -hmm. a former colony of Portugal that blends Indian culture with colonial influences and plenty of international tourism. Goa is popular largely because of its spectacular beaches. The busiest of all is Kendalim Beach, where travelers from around the world flock to soak up the sun. Anjuta Beach, by contrast, is far less crowded. It is also an amazing place where you can walk to Chapora Fort and admire the sandy coastline from a new perspective. Palalim is considered one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Goa, with its natural bay surrounded by lofty headlands on either side. Wow! Yes, they are all beautiful! What is What are those? Those orange one, what are those? Look at the beautiful beach! I wish I could go there! Wow! That is so beautiful. Wow, Number wow. Six, Delhi. Delhi. If you're spending any time in northern India, you will almost certainly visit the capital city of Delhi. The enormous, sprawling destination is home to several districts, and it is considered to be one of the oldest cities in the world. Oh, really? One of the sites in Delhi is the Red Fort, which was built in the 17th century. Ooh. The Red Fort is made from sandstone, mm -hmm. and you will be able to walk through its Lahore Gate, into the bazaar, through the Jewel Palace, and even into the former residence of the Sultan. While in Delhi, you should also make time for the many museums and religious structures that make up the city. Wow. <clears throat> yes, that's real. Oh my god. Like, you have a lot of palaces. That is why India is majestic, you know, royal vibe, something like that. Look at this place. I mean, wow. Ooh. And they are from three distinct religions, 
Buddhism, Jainism, and Hinduism. Oh, okay. Two hours away is Ajanta, which is home to 29 caves. The Ajanta caves are covered in murals and paintings, most of which reflect Buddhist stories. While the two cave complexes are two hours away from one another, it is well worth visiting both to compare these incredible attractions. Oh my god, that is so unreal. Like, oh my god, look at this um, craft and um, art and um, culture, history. I mean, there's a lot of culture, history and about this. Oh my god, this is... Oh lord. How old of this temple again? I forgot. Number four, Varanasi. Varanasi. A city that may seem strange to many Westerners, Varanasi is of great religious importance. The holy city sits on the banks of the divine Ganges and is believed by Hindus to be a sacred place of pilgrimage. Okay. The city is known for the religious practices that take place on the ghats alongside the river. Mm -hmm. Pilgrims wash themselves in the waters of the Ganges and the bodies of Hindus are cremated. The sights oh. of life and death along the riverside can be shocking, but a visit to Varanasi is also contemplative and ultimately helps visitors to further understand India's deep cultural and spiritual practices oh okay oh okay Ma manashara What is that? Oh. Oh. That's so cool. Number three, Kerala. The Kerala. southwestern state of India, known as Kerala, is a place of tropical beauty. Palm trees, white sand beaches, yes, and look at that. are all big reasons to explore the region. Besides its famous backwaters, elegant houseboats, and temple festivals, Kerala is also home to the Tikadi Tiger Preserve. The hub of Kerala wow. is the city of Kochi, where you can see the local fishing industry thriving along with wow. the high rises and colonial architecture. Oh my god. Those boats are... Oh yes, that is so good. That's beautiful falls. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to live there. Look at that. Is those tea <clears throat> herbs or herbs? Yes, that's beautiful place. The fresh air, the fresh breeze. Number two, Agra. Agra. Agra is known for one thing: the iconic and ultimately impressive Taj Mahal. Set on the south oh, bank yes, of the Taj River, Mahal. the Taj draws millions of tourists a year. Yes. Built by an emperor as an extravagant memorial to his wife, the mausoleum's porcelain white marble is an emblem of romance and adventure. Agra itself sits in the shadows of its imposing monument, wow. but is a small and welcoming city. The ancient Mughal era Agra Fort is an attractive spot to visit. Peer over the walls and catch your first hypnotizing glimpse of the Taj. Yes, that is so beautiful. I know Taj Mahal, but I never see one like video or not. No, I already read. I just read some books um in college. Oh, so that's Taj Mahal. <clears throat> Taj Mahal Wow That is the most beautiful palace ever Like oh my god Look at that Wow My godness like, I don't have anything to say. Those... Oh my god, look at that. Number 
one. Yes, number one. Jaipur. The pink city mm. of Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan and is where you can find the beautiful Amber Fort. A yes. sprawling, stunning complex set in the hillside overlooking a lake. Located just outside of the city and built in 1592, the grandiose citadel was also a palace for some time, but is now an impressive tourist attraction. Make sure to take a trip to the opulent city palace with its stunning courtyards and gardens, plus the amazingly intricate Palace of Winds. Jaipur forms one corner of the Golden Triangle, and it also makes a great gateway into the lesser-known destinations within Rajasthan. Wow. You have a lot of palaces in your country. Oh my god. I wish I could visit those palaces. Like, I want to. I really wanted to. Look at that. Yes, that is so beautiful as well. Those like that. Oh my god. Yes, that one is. Mm. That is so good. Yeah, so thank you so much for Terofia. This is not sponsored, but mm -hmm, I like that. I learned a lot. Like, there are a lot of palaces in your country, and that is so amazing. And <clears throat> and just I just wanted to, if I give it a chance, like, I just wanted to go there and visit all your palaces because those are palaces is really beautiful elegant majestic royalty oh my god so yes i just wanted to say thank you so much for those um people from india thank you so much that you love me so much and i love you guys i really really do love you so so much thank you for the support and i love you as always so yes if you have a lot of requests please don't forget to leave a comment down below so that i can read all your requests and suggestions Goodbye everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and God bless you. See you to my next reaction. Bye